Students always ask me, you know, it would be kind of nice if we could um, use a human, see what it was like on a human. And so um, with, the ad, with the availability of the video conferencing machine, uh, that absolutely just opened my door to an opportunity here to talk to Dr. Bertram and uh, see if, we, if he would be willing to conduct a video conference with us. <laughs> first. So wait, that's the frontal lobe. And then the parietal lobe. So I'd like to welcome everybody uh, to this first uh, video conference. So first thing you'll notice is that when I hold up the brain, I want you to tell me what differences can you see other than the size in your sheep brains and then in the human brain. Good, that's one function. It's actually called the meninges, your mother. And what it does is, like you said, it covers the brain. Yes. So yes. this would be the left hemisphere, and this is the right hemisphere, right? So if, if um, we get um, damage, so if there is uh, concussions, etc., does the brain change its color? The brain, okay, well, well the color of the brain is really... Here what you see is a slightly darker shade. Uh, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was cool how we could, like, interact with someone from the university who has a lot of experience and get to learn new things about like the functions of the brains and like what it does and whatnot. I do think it was useful because a lot of people won't, you know, study for the test the night before or whatever. So I think that um, by doing this you get more familiar with it. And it's just kind of, it's interesting to be able to look at it in person um, rather than just on a piece of paper.